guys welcome to shout for a 1v1 valkyrie tournament game and we are going to jump into group b to see the ex-champion mr pringles fight it out with nat nat so nat nat as germany going elite markman squad with a few single smbs and we'll get to the center as quick as he can and mr pringles going the single rifles and the regular squad interesting buy so Mr. Pringles definitely out of form in this tournament, probably the most out of form he's ever been in the tournament. He's come into the tournament with the methodology that he won't practice at all and just play the tournament games to just test his skills to see how we go. So this is a good opportunity for Nat Nat who's done horribly versus Pringles in the past, not being able to do much versus him in any tournaments and practice practices. So this is a chance for Nat Nat to prove himself and advance. Is this is the group of death, I believe. There's, there's lots of players that are similar skill. Um, at the stage of of, um, of time, as Pringles opens up with the regulars, unfortunately the marksmen were caught napping and weren't in a great ambush position as they could possibly do by uh, being in a good ambush position because of their speed. Now, now with a flank perhaps with a grenade, and has nicely taken out two, but Pringles on the ball knows it's there and will possibly dispatch this guy. So start not going too well from that, that even though he got to the start and the elite marksman wasn't able to do enough damage before the regulars and the SMGs got into range. So on the western point, looks like Nat Nat will cap that eventually and Pringles caps the eastern. So nothing drastic happening on the flanks, just the usual spawn points, respective spawn points of each nation capping their flags. So it's the battle of the center now and they come to the riverway to get an angle on the Bren perhaps, gonna throw a grenade over, oh, Pringles on the ball, takes him out with the 8 grenade before he can do anything, not going into his side of the river, and that's gonna try now with the Volstrom, forcing the numbers in, Militiaman from Pringles as well, so addition of two first tier squads, see the elite marksman unfortunately not really doing too well at this stage, is shooting at the shooting at the militia, not even being able to kill one of them yet. And I dare say they're quite ineffective in this particular engagement. Volsham from Natnat on the other hand have been taking a lot of punishment. You can see, uh, I think there's a veteran rifleman in fact, no the militia. There's two stars, so they're normal riflemen. They're doing pretty good versus uh, the Volsham here, whereas on the other end, Natnat's uh, Elite Marksman aren't even damaging uh, Mr. Pringles' <laughs> infantry. Wow, look at this rifle shootouts galore, and Pringles seems to be getting up the hand. Is it because of the Leah infield? The Leah infield, or what? Or because of MGs pinning down units? I'm, I'm just a bit uh, confused right now in terms of why they're winning so, so much. Pringles now pushing up. I think it's just the numbers, to be honest. I think the regular squad comes with more guys and just more firepower. That's that's probably why, because of the numerical superiority. Pringles early two pounder by expecting some sort of, I guess, light vehicle or some two to two perhaps. Looks quite early indeed, as he's winning the shootout. So I guess he doesn't need the twenty millimeter infantry killer. Another vulture from that. That going to try to get the numbers on Mr. Pringles. Seeing that a lot in this mod. A lot of lower tier squads. And numbers seem to be working, I guess, in, in this particular game, this battle. Two Panda already in a great position. Actually quite moves quite fast, I've noticed. I think 80 guns are actually faster too in this mod, enabling it to get to the front quicker. And I suppose that two Panda can be used to kill counter the sniper. As Nat Nat's positioned his sniper very far away in the safety. Uh, the usual, I guess, in previous tournaments was in this building, but it could get AP sniped in that building. Nat Nat, oh wow, M50 resting from the side? Jeez. Black Watch coming in, just takes out the veteran sniper so easy. they got lower hit points, I think, in the mod. Pringles for a flank. No go. But Nat Nat looks, looks very weak, he only got three guys. Mr. Pringles, full Black Watch squad, and can. Send some more into the fray from the center. Escalation here from that net, going to Paratrooper Squad. Mr. Pringles um, should have less infantry now because there's a two pounder by. But lost the sniper. Now from that net. So Paris should hold the flank from the center to the west. But someone's capping this. No, it's been decapped. 
momentarily. Now that comes into recap. But Paras should be okay to stop the Black Watch. MG from the Paratrooper moving to here for it. Oh, that's a nice position. Can shoot over to this way. And also down this way. I remember this position. G43s. Holding quite strong. Pringles are now going to try instead come from the town area onto the western. Going to try to force the three cap with just a militia squad. It's going to, they're going to walk into the MG perhaps, but if they go around this flank, can uh, quite easily avoid it. And there isn't too many troops guarding it. Center, and then that uh, still outnumbered. All <laughs> these militia guys have run out of ammunition even. And he's moving into throw grenades and actually will get perhaps get off a good one. Nice. <laughs> Very efficient use of such cheap tier troops. Brandenburgers out. No, this is the German use. One special point from that. That coming in quite strong all the way to the front, getting shot up a bit. Let's see where the MG, MG 34. Yeah, pinning down the troops in that net. Uh, and Mr. Pringles militiamen all had ammunition, which is a good thing. It shows how efficient use. So it shows how efficient they've been used. Paras moving in to try to support the flank. Mr. Pringles coming in from the from the right way to avoid the MG. And not much of that Nat's troops engaging. Militiamen just waiting there. That that uh, manages to get to the center. Interesting, there's actually not much firepower of Pringles at all. Oh, the MG's been taken out by Nat Nat's grenade, very nicely done. And there isn't anyone that can shoot him, so the two pounders actually in jeopardy. No ammunition, no ammunition. Nat Nat's going all the way. Wow, he really exploited this chance. And two grenades will put it away. Very nice from Nat Nat. Second grenade. Does not take it out. Crew AA now coming. And will save the two pounder. Lone Rifleman for the line of sight is coming to the center. Right side. And that has overwhelmed the militia with the full power squad. And the infantry now coming to consolidate the center. 33 to 0, and quite a good lead so far. 20mm Crusader shooting down at the paras. So I'm not sure if Nat Nat can afford any sort of counter yet because he's gone. A lot of expensive tier. Uh, infantry squads, so perhaps he's going to be saving for some sort of tank to take out that crew AA. It's just a two pounder, so perhaps uh, a, th a Panzer III will do. German use. Ducking can't escape now. The MG34 is still alive though. The prize of the German use squad. Gave it to the, the best shooter. Oh. Do we have here the Panzer III classic counter? to withstand that two-pounder. Two-pounder on hold fire though, so can perhaps shock the three, the Panzer three. If it gets too cocky, too adventurous, it, too, it's coming pretty close. Pringles uh, is ready on the trigger, I think. Might be disastrous. German news again. Now that opting for the, for the veteran sniper, then two German news instead of going to Brandenburgers. A8. Pinning down those German U's. Panzer 3. Gonna try to take another angle. Two pounder. <laughs> Wanted to get a sneaky side shot. Unable to. Oh no. Oh no. It's actually quite close now. Oh. Ho, ho. Pringles opens up with a shot. Bounces. Nat Nat now is aware and probably won't venture there anymore. Oh, perhaps he might even try to take, take it out. He's being quite. Confident. And I think we'll take it this one. There we go. Two pounders down, but it's been tracked. 44 to 0. Wow, that Lee Enfield just took out the MG. These are uh, Lee Enfield's doing very well in a shootout. That, that's uh, machine gunners. West looks strong, but uh, Pringles is not going to let up the pressure. I think that's the three special point Royal Commandos. Let's see it go charging in against the paratroopers. 30 versus 30, but this is a 50 cal. Panzer 3 
busy in the center. That does have that Panzer Shrek over here. So it's ready for it. The guys have been taken out though, so that's a good thing. I suppose the explosion won't kill too many. Ooh. Oh, unlucky from that, that. A bounce in the half track. He must be raging heavily right now. Sending more guys back in for some reason. Oh, Panzer Shrek nearly picked up again. Yeah, that's going, um, Pringles going all the way in. Panzer 3. Should be coming soon, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm not trying to get a flank off, no go. Mr. Pringles sending commanders in front for one of sight. Breaks down the cover. A few MGs down. This MG over here. Oh, Panzer 3 does take it out. The 50 cal should be open, should be taken soon. The Lal. Oh, Piat takes out the Panzer 3. Ah, oh, I didn't see that. I didn't know where that happened. Must be a Piat on the floor somewhere. Someone, because it's not around here, must have died. Oh, I don't know. Dead bodies. There it is, right there, 18th infantry. Right side, so Pringles now is taking it. 50 cal still on the half track though, so still can be taken. Oh, he's microing the Piat to take out the MG. Oh, waiting for it to get up, he, he knew he was going to walk back if Waltz to try to pick up his gun. Very clever. Now the 3 cap is on, 58 to 0. Interesting play so far with the infantry. The elite marksmen unable to fight off the numbers of the UK regular plus the single infantry. That seemed to work out fine for him. And the militia uh, contributed to the number advantage. Um, that, that tried to get the Voltrum in to compete with the numbers, but was already on a downward spiral losing all these troops. So always constantly outnumbered in the center. And Panda 3 was a uh, was the <laughs> nail in the coffin, I think. That that coming with the German used. Oh, commanders. Bren, Delal, Piat perhaps even no grenade, finish him off. Oh, MG34 doing quite well. Bren not being too accurate at this stage. Crusade AA, taken out by the F2. 75 millimeter gun. Sixty-eight to zero. Capping now the western point. Not not going for the cover to shoot out, but uh, is already getting outshot the while. Bren pop up already losing so much health. Ooh, I don't know who wins this shootout, it's not even. I think the Dalal may have it. Next pop out is dead. Oh no, he's healing. Oh, he got killed by the Bren. Dalal now back in action. Uh, center for a 2-2-2 two, two, two by it. What's he got over here? Ooh, wow, he's got the Cromwell Cro Cro Comets already. Nasty. Got unable to get that 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Too bad that half track wasn't picked up. Half track gun, 50k would have done nicely versus that 2 2 charge. That, that should be able to cap this back now. 3 cap. Oh, Comet. I think he's taking out the F2 from the side through the building. The house is down. Let's see it blow up close in close range. Bunk. 8 5 1. Extracted at least. Struggling to get a good shot. But uh, we'll be able to take many shots now since it's tracked. Bunk. There you go, 92 to 0. <laughs> that doesn't look like. Oh, he's trying hard though. He needs to get the flag in the center quickly. He may do so. There isn't too much guarding at this stage. One rifleman. He's got the MG from the Comet though to support. Not much else coming. Actually, also a few guys on the side about to shoot any guys coming to the center. 
Oh, that, that needs it fast. 95 to 10. Can you get it soon? What the hell? That was a... What the hell? That Piat shot all the way to here. That's a far shot. Though, in this mod, the penetration is quite low. Uh, it's actually the zero after the max range, so it doesn't really matter unless it's uh, aiming at infantry and still kill infantry because the HE effect still takes effect. Dazrak from Nat Nat, the insane <laughs> 500 hit point to uh, Panzer Grenadiers with MG42s, full accuracy. Oh no luck. Just too late to make effect. Good game. To Mr. Pringles, uh, shows Nat Nat who's the boss.